In this video we will do a script installer in CMD but for this time for an MSI software and MSI stands for Microsoft Software Installer and this time we're going to package uh, Google Chrome browser so let's start by downloading it so I have that in a favorite it's not that difficult to find but I will still put the link in the um, description so let's download and we we want to download the um, Chrome browser for enterprise and let's take the whole uh, bundle here and I'm gonna let's copy the version number because we're gonna need that in our um, uh, folder the template we created so I start by downloading this that's gonna take a while uh, so I totally accept and download that so let's see, that's going to take three minutes approximately. While that's downloading, let's create our base folder from the template. So I will open Explorer, Windows Explorer. I go to the root on C. We have our underscore Intune folder that we created earlier. We also have package Mozilla Firefox, but let's go under the template and let's copy this one and hope I don't lose the, um, the version number that I copied. So we copy this folder and I will control uh, V paste it here. Let's rename this one. So manufacturer, that's Google. Software, that's Chrome. And version, let's see if I have that with Windows uh, V. Nope, I turn it on now. I love that feature. So if you do Windows button V on Windows 10, you get a history of what you're paste. So that means I lost it when I copied the folder. So my clipboard is empty. So I'm gonna go back uh, here and take the version number. Oh, I lost it. I hope the download is still running. It's soon there. It's good I do mistake because by the time it have downloaded, I'm gonna be there. So now I do a control C here. So now I have this in my memory. Let me also copy this URL. Yes, so I lose this one and then I will use the Windows uh, V feature. So now I do another con C. So now I have this in memory, but no problem. So if I go back here and I want to rename this again, I could have done F2. And now I want the version number. If I do Control V, I will get the URL. But if I do Windows V, it's going to ask which one I want. And I definitely want the second one. It's a good tip. If you didn't already know that one, I love it. Okay, and there are third party software that can do that, but this one is built in in Windows. So this looks pretty good and it's indeed a 64 bit version. And in here in our template, if you remember, we have the output, which is empty. It's where we're gonna do the output of the Win Intune file in the coming videos. And the source folder where we're gonna do the, what we are downloading now, our installation scripts, settings and all that, and our uninstall script, which will be the video following this one. It looks like it have finished to download. Yes, got a green check mark. I don't do open file. I actually could because it's zip file, but I prefer to open folder. I'll right click. I will extract all. Sure, or actually don't uh, show it when it's finished. So once it's extracted, I like to have a clean um, disk. So I'm gonna delete the zip file once it is extracted. I'm gonna do a shift delete. I don't want come back so in here in the bundle there are two files that we want the MSI installer which is under the installer there is some endpoint verification and legacy browser support which is already built in so you don't need that one so I'm gonna take this one right click copy or control C do I still have a second window I do and we paste that into our source in our package so we want the MSI file in the source folder so it's down here let's go back to the zipped files and go up one level, not under the installer, we have configuration and under here we have one file called master underscore preferences. You can put some settings, we're just going to change the start page. And you have also for um, Mac and you also have uh, ADM and ADMX for uh, group policy. For me to manage uh, settings, I definitely recommend the, uh, what is called, the Google Chrome um, cloud management. Uh, but that's for another video. Let's uh, copy this file and put that in source. So now we have, and this file was master underscore preferences. Here we can put some settings and we're gonna copy that into program files and they're gonna stick there. But again, that's not the best uh, practice, but it, 
if we do this standalone, that will work fine. And I like to keep it clean, so I'm gonna delete the, from the download folder. I'm gonna do soft delete in case we need it, but we shouldn't. So now we have the MSI, the Microsoft Software Installer, and the master underscore preferences file. So now we could actually modify the settings. Let's do that now. And then we're gonna do a script to bundle these together or actually do the installation. So let's open this with our favorite uh, editor. You can use it with Visual Studio Code or Atom or normal Notepad. I'm gonna do this with Notepad++. So open up this one. So this one have a lot of settings. I'm just gonna change the top one here. So I'm gonna change this one to GBN Let's see, I think the size is fine, but let's do it a bit bigger. So I'm gonna go print.cloud. It's no web page there at the current time. I'm gonna change that to HTTPS also. So we see quickly when we have installed Chrome, if this is the start page. Um, show home button, restore, startup URL, I'm gonna, change this one as well to uh, gbn.brands.cloud so let's save this one and then we can close it for now we can keep notepad plus plus open we're going to need that and so now we have modified this uh, master preference with the start page now let's create the installation script for this so we're going to need to install the msi and then we're going to need to copy in the master preference. So let's open a new and we're going to do in this video in uh, CMD. So let's start with some rem and I will save this file very early this time. So we get the markup. So we are, I am in the source. If not, you browse into C in tune, Google Chrome and the source. And we're going to name this one. Let's remove all there. Let's call this one install dash. Google Chrome and we want the version number again so I'm going to do Windows V because I have it there in my clipboard and it is x64 it's 64 bit and dot cmd it's a batch file okay now we get the good formatting so we do purpose this is just comment for ourselves for our future self or for others who might be working on this purpose install Google Chrome and I will paste again the version number 64 bit with settings or config rem we put author and i put myself here and i like to put date also today we're the 11th august 2021 and then rem let's start by install um, google chrome so, how do you install an MSI file? It's very easy actually. It always starts with msc.exec and you can actually leave out, but I like to put the exe. So that's the file that we're calling and it's under system32 on all Windows system. Then we're gonna call what is the action forward sl slash i for install. And we can see that if we open a CMD and then just type msiexec.exe forward slash question mark we get that so here is to install a package uninstall you can do with x and then you have to make quiet and you know in intune we want all the packages to be quiet so if you want to read more about the switches you can just run msiexec.exe forward slash question mark and now we need the actual file. So let's go to our source. I'm going to do a fake rename by pressing F2, Control A, Control C, and paste it in here. But this will only work if it's in the same folder and uh, running um, manually. If it's running from a script, it will not work. So we'll need the path. So we will be using a cool trick here. It's percentage and tilde. And unfortunately, I'm on the, um, I have a French keyboard on a Mac running bootcamp. So uh, tilde, I can't find that on my keyboard. So I'm gonna Google that one. Uh, tilde K 
character. And I'm just going to steal that one here. I could steal it from a previous package. Okay. So, present it tilde dpu zero. The D is actually drive and the P is path. So, this one, to explain this one, this is going to be exchanged against the path where this script is located. So, if this script is located under a folder called C colon backslash temp, then that's going to be exchanged to C colon backslash temp. So, that means if we put this MSI file, in the same folder as the cmd file. So when we run the cmd file, it's going to translate this path to this cmd file, which is in the same place with the MSI. So it's always going to find the MSI, even if you're on the server backslash backslash server backslash an SMB share, it's always going to find it. Then we do, if we run this as it is now, it's going to run and then ask for next next. And we really want it silent. So do it silent, we can do, um, forward slash q n that means no it won't see anything if we do q b basic then it would flash you would see everything but we want it totally silent and we will do a forward slash log also let's do a log where should we put the um, log file can be anywhere i like to put it on the program data program data backslash and i will put the folder don't exist here gbn logs and that's a bit dangerous because if I would run this and the folder don't exist for the log, it's going to fail. It's not going to install. So we're going to create this folder also. And then we need to name the, the log file. Let's call that install Google Chrome. And let's put our version number again here. x64.log. So that got a bit long. I'm going to steal this one, control C, because we're going to create that one. But you don't have to have a log file. You can skip the last part if you think that looks uh, uh, complicated. So let's, we need to have the folder first. So let's here create log folder if not already existing or something like that. And which one we want to create? It's this one. And actually, it's best practice, not a must, to put double quotation here, I'm thinking about it, because if this path here contains uh, spaces, that could fail, because each space, it would think that's um, an argument, like here, a space. It costs nothing, and it's always a good standard. So, back to here, we want to create the log folder. So, if not exist, if this folder here doesn't exist, then create it mkdir and a story about mkdir dir m is make mk i guess is make and dir is directory and in the older windows it was called directory not folder the reason why it's now called create a new folder is that microsoft around year 2000 when they released the active directory was afraid that it would be confusing to have create a directory in Active Directory. So then they changed the terminology to call it folder. But all these old uh, commands that's been around for ages, they still stay uh, mkdir. Okay, so if this folder don't exist, then we run this command here and actually create it. So then we are sure that it exists, so this won't fail. Perfect, so now we have installed Google Chrome, if we would run this, hopefully we're going to test it and failing, we're going to fix it. Now we want the settings and we have, we have already created our master preference file. So copy in uh, master preferences file for settings. So same here, we're going to do a copy and we're going to copy file that is in the same folder as this CMD. So I'll copy and paste. What about now? That's better. And then we want the name of the master preferences. I'm gonna do a fake rename and control C and then I paste it here. So we're gonna copy this one and we're gonna copy it where? Well, I put the double quotation already. I do full path, C backslash program files, Google Chrome. So it's Google, Chrome, 
application and if I can spell that application let me make it a little bit smaller so it fit there so we copy in master preferences into C program files Google Chrome application I think we can do a backslash here so it's clear that it's a folder and then forward slash a capital Y just in case that file already exists there it will overwrite this start to look uh, pretty good and the video starts to be a bit long let's try to run this one first let's verify do we have Google Chrome Google Chrome it doesn't look like it so we don't have it and if I search here there is no Google Chrome so let's try and see if we can run this installation file so I'm gonna right click and run as administrator and uh, hope for the best I'm actually gonna add a uh, pulse at the end just that's you should definitely not do that in the production script but that means we will see the outcome and see if it failed to copy the file so we're going to remove this pause it's just now when we're test running it on our own machine so run as administrator let's see how this goes take some time so here you see the um, percentage till the dpu zero have been exchanged to the source because why because that's where the cmd run from so regardless where you run the path will follow so we install we do it quiet we add the log file also so it's going to take a while of course to install looks pretty good and it says one file got copied so that's why I kept the pause here if not the black window would have disappeared the CMD so I'm already now going to remove the pause because you definitely don't want that once we are in Intune okay great now let's see is Chrome installed okay so Chrome is installed we see that it's the wrong version but the, it, it is actually the right one so here you see our settings did take and don't worry that uh, here it says uh, 68 uh, 104 it takes that from the MSI file if we go in um, help about Google Chrome you will see that it is indeed the version that we pushed so that is a success we did manage to install the Google Chrome we will be using this file later to package into Intune next video we're gonna um, do an uninstallation script great job that works good